Today, I'm showing you three editing tricks that feel like cheating to know all in under two minutes. It's gonna cut down your editing time, but also make your reels stand out. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start the timer right now. So first, we're gonna start off with keyboard shortcuts. These are the most important ones that you wanna go ahead and make sure are set. So here are my keyboard shortcuts. First things first, E for enabling clips or disabling them. S for speed and duration, so that way it can make slow-mo clips or fast clips as fast as possible. R for render into out points. X for ripple deleting your clips c for the cut tool or razor tool v for the regular hand selection tool these are the exact keyboard shortcuts that i use on the daily that help speed up my workflow tremendously secret number hack number two is using adjustment layers to stack effects using adjustment layers to Dude, she doesn't like when I talk too loud. Oh my gosh. Anyways, you could use adjustment layers for camera movements, adding your LUTs, zoom ins, blur effects, whatever it is, you could throw it on to the adjustment layers to affect everything below that adjustment layer. And the key thing with adjustment layers is you don't have to go in and touch each individual clip to apply each effect. You can just do it to whatever time duration you want to set it to. Secret number three is the transform tool. Now, this is not a secret, but for newbies and beginners, this is a game changer. If you want to make your edits look like they are done in After Effects, this is the tool that you want to be using. You grab the effect, drag and drop it onto whatever text or footage or adjustment layer that you want. Make sure to uncheck the use composition shutter, drag it up to 360 or whatever you want, and then go ahead and start keyframing from there. And if you want to take the transform tool just one step further with your keyframes, go ahead, hit Bezier and play with the velocity sort of speed ramp sort of effect. It's not a speed ramp, but you kind of get the vibe to just really create those After Effects level animations. All right, I have genuinely no clue if we made it under a minute or two minutes, whatever we're at. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys want to go ahead and just edit like any of these reels that you see on screen, go ahead, check out my takeover editing shop as it's legit all of the presets that I use daily in my own workflow and just to create reels effortlessly and in half of the time that I used to before I had these presets. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.